Hello again, it's Phil at Love Quicksilver. In part one, we saw how to start customizing Quicksilver's catalog and some of the different things that could be added. In this video, I want to delve deeper into the catalog preferences pane and show you some uses for its entries. And the first item in catalog's sidebar is applications. The last option is unchecked for a reason. When checked, Quicksilver searches for applications across the entire system, including mounted volumes. This can slow Quicksilver down a lot, so it's probably best to add far-flung apps as custom catalog entries instead. For example, I have an app called Hub. If I show that entry in the catalog, you'll see that it's quite far down in a scripts folder, so I've added that manually to stop Quicksilver searching for it. The middle item is running applications and processes. Now we have to head over to Quicksilver and check the Quicksilver catalog entries item to make sure that appears in pane 1. Now all I have to do is find that in pane 1. Type show contents. And I get a nice list of all the running apps in the system at the moment. Now this makes quite a good trigger. I've set it up to option tab and it makes an alternative app switcher to the one that you get with the system. So instead of tabbing to get to the app that I want, I can start typing the name of an application. Applications catalogs the applications folder to a depth of three. Now, as in the first part, you can go to attributes and make yourself a copy if you want to change that. But I find that uh, three levels deep is plenty enough to find all the apps in there. I'll skip plugins for now and go straight to Quicksilver. Checking internal commands is highly recommended, even if only for the commands that are added by some of the plugins, such as the clipboard, screen capture, and user interface plugins. For example, we have show the clipboard. Capture a region. Current documents. Now this one is incredibly useful. and this little gem, show all menus. Now I thought this showed all the menu items for the current app, but it actually finds the menu items for every single running app. Now ignore the action in pane two, just right arrow into any app that you like. And you can see all its menu items. Find recently closed tabs in Chrome. Or start a new tweet in Twitter. Well, that's all for now. I hope I've been able to show you some of the useful things you can do with the internal commands and applications catalog entries. Next time, I'd like to have a look at proxy objects and some of the great things you can do with these entries. Again, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you soon.